What's up, good people? I love shrimps, but I don't want to tell people that I did a lot of research and study on the problems of the shrimp. So, so now I am still taking them, but I take them with caution and I take them with regulated amounts in my diet. I don't take them every single day, but there is some limit that how much you can take and how much you should not take. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. What can happen to you if you're taking too much of the shrimp? The problem with shrimp is the place it resides in the ocean or the sea or the lake or the river, wherever it grows, it goes to the bottom of there and licks the rocks and the plants and the dead fish and it can lick anything over there. And that's why it could be a source of bacterial infections like E. coli and Vibrio. So people who are taking shrimp, they can end up with bacterial infections and therefore diarrhea and allergies and a lot of, uh, you know, haphazard responses. So you have to be very careful about that. Another thing is because it contains a lot of minerals, a lot of salts like sodium, potassium, phosphorus, selenium, it's full of those because it lives in salty environment. It loves the salty environment. And that's why it can lead to a high blood pressure. So if you are a person who got high blood pressure or who is hypertensive, I strongly recommend you to have this shrimp with a lot of caution in your diet because I do not want you to get hypertension or malignant hypertension or hypertensive crisis by taking one big bowl of shrimp in one small sitting. Do not do that to yourself. Another problem with shrimp is it has potential to give you a lot of iodine. So that can lead to iodine poisoning and we do not want and iodine poisoning in our diet because it can have problems with your thyroid, it can have problems with your pregnancy, and it can have a lot of metabolic problems in you. So you don't want that excess of iodine in your diet. And the problem with this is it is a very good source of purines. Purines are very high in shrimps and therefore you can end up with problem like high uric acid which in other words is called hyperuricemia we don't want that and we don't want gout gout is a very painful condition for your joints for your ankle for your toe or whichever joint is affected by the uric acid crystals that place is going to hurt like crazy and it can also be you know associated or connected with kidney stones which are in case in this case going to be from uric acid so you can have uric acid stones and a lot of uti so be very vigilant if you are taking shrimps do not go in excess so the research says that adults can consume two to three servings of shrimps per week that's my topic of discussion you you can also have shellfish but that also goes with the same guidelines but this guideline does not apply to pregnant ladies there is a separate video on this that i have please check out that if you are pregnant or a nursing slash lactating woman okay so this applies to adults who are in this age group you know, healthy productive fertile age group they can take 8 to 12 ounces per week that will have two to three servings so do not go on daily basis do not go with shrimps on daily basis with me i just take it once every month or so and that's very safe very productive very healthy you can check my video on the benefits of shrimps where I talked about benefits of shrimp. Shrimps are very healthy. They're very productive. So check out my video on that, please. And so another aspect of shrimps is, you, <coughs> excuse me, you have to cook them very, very, very thoroughly. You don't want any 
any bacteria in there as I talked about it earlier. And another thing is the way the shrimps are cooked these days are very unhealthy. Do not put butter, do not put a lot of fatty ingredients into it because that takes away the nutritious aspects of shrimps. Okay, so in summary, you are getting a lot of benefits from the shrimps, but there are drawbacks. There are drawbacks like gout, hyperuricemia, iodine excess, and problems like, you know, uh, getting kidney stones, case stones from uh, urate, excessive urate, problems of diarrhea, allergies, and E. coli infections, Vibrio cholera infections. So be very, very vigilant with your shrimp intake and stick to this guideline of 8 to 12 ounces per uh, serving. And you can't go uh, with uh, more than 2 to 3 serving per uh, week, which will be 8 to 12 ounces of shrimp per week, basically, uh, per week per serving. Okay, don't go beyond that. If you need more information on that, uh, ask me in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to answer, okay? Thank you so much. Have a great day, and bye-bye.